Oh, Supra. Supra yeah. has it? Oh, so listen to this title. Watch a Toyota Supra autonomously drift in the name of safety. What? Yeah, dude. This is insane. Auto so check drift? This check it's like, this out. dude, cheat codes in real life now. <laughs> like a video game cheat code to like drift better. That's like real. You put your little USB into your car. <laughs> right? That's insane. Check this out. So they do, they trained this car or whatever. They I don't know how they set this thing up, but obviously this is not something that comes on new Supras. There's not yeah, drift mode yeah. that's going to do it. But they did it in the name of can our computer, can our driving computer system monitor this and can it maintain this throughout a track? Wow. So basically instead of not sliding, they told it to slide. But yeah, let me skip it. Well, if you think bit. about it, the adaptive cruise control is just programming to tell it go this speed and accelerate it this much and right. break it this much. You're just telling you it what the parameters to go between. Right. And it could do it better than a person. Right. Because its reaction sense. time is instantaneous. Yeah. So yeah, check this out. This Ooh. is this is all autonomous. No. This is nuts. This is auto? Yeah, this is all auto. And they show the guy inside in a second. Because they still put a dude inside, which I don't know. That sounds sketchy. Well, you probably have to. Sweet drone footage, too. I guess you could disable that if you're doing if you're going this far. You know what's crazy? That huh. looked digital. Right? Didn't it look, look so... He's just hanging out? <laughs> he's just chilling. Probably just to take over, you're right, but... Sweet footage, too. <laughs> the autonomous. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. What? I've never seen anything like it. It's bizarre. That is insane. So yeah. You guys got to see this. If you're it's not going to watch this on YouTube, um, whose channel is this on that someone can go look it up? Well, I think just it's look up, Just look up our video. Yeah, we'll paste a piece of it in. We'll put a link of it in the that show digital, notes. But yeah, if you want to watch the whole thing, on, I'm talking about it. It's on it. the Toyota Research Institute page, which only wow. has 3,000 subscribers. Let's beat them. So if they're doing more... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, hey, Toyota, if you let us go ride in an autonomous drift car... Or maybe we, it could drift and then we could drift against it. We can see who can stack yeah, up see whatever. Who's better. Yeah, Dude, see. that's like the old, uh, what's that movie where they have the guy with the axe and then the machine cutting down the trees? Oh, It's a man dude. versus machine. Like super nostalgic. I don't remember the name of it. I know what you're talking about though. Yeah. Yeah. The one that we probably all thought that we dreamt, but actually it's real. <laughs> yeah, probably. But anyway, so craziest thing I've ever seen with an autopilot thing. But yeah, like how do you, so in theory, if everything is autopilot, if everything's driving itself, that theoretically should be the safest way for cars to communicate with each other on the road. If cars could actually be communicating and monitoring the location of each other, they could seamlessly, they could do like those, um, like those satisfying videos where they're like, you see the traffic, like yeah, it all merges together. They could do that. But to your point, like how much do you trust that? Cause I don't hardly at all. Like I don't even really right. like my autopilot thing, even though I know it's keeping an eye on things. Right. I don't like, well, even though that does that, you're not going to yeah. just go hand on the wheel and no. just move a little bit and just no. like be on your phone or whatever. No. And granted, I don't have an actual autopilot system. So mine's just supposed to yeah. be uh, Hey, you're getting tired. If you start wandering in the lane, it's going to keep you in the lane. It's just like safety stuff. Yeah. But even like, I can't, yeah. I can't really picture being super comfortable. And I joke about, it'd be nice to have a Tesla, especially for the drive up here to record yeah, right. to say like, oh, go home and then just sit and do whatever, start editing footage or whatever. You just sit in the back seat, start editing the podcast. <laughs> yeah. But like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I'm uh, comfortable with that yeah. being a thing, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause I know you've ridden in a Tesla before. Yep. I don't know if you've experienced autopilot or anything like yeah, that. I've driven it a couple times okay. and had the autopilot and everything. It was just highway. Gotcha. Driving, no, gotcha. but I took it as far as like getting on to the first one was at a, a Tesla store in uh, Minneapolis. So, you know, we drove through town a little bit, experienced like the the one foot driving, which is kind of weird too. Okay. You know, yeah, that's you don't have to touch the brake. The brake. Yep. Interesting. So you're either going, you're either going or stopping weird. essentially the whole time. Um, and then, you know, we took it up on the highway and then got it in, in the autopilot. Yeah. And it was wild. The first time I did it, it's the first time I experienced it. So you yeah. double, double tap the stock on it. At least that's how it was at the time. Yeah. I think it's on the screen now. Um, and it automatically centers you in the lane, mm. puts you perfectly in the center. Gotcha. So you don't realize like how everybody drives a little bit more to one side. Cause right. we're obviously we're on the left side of the car. Right. So we're like, sometimes we're too far to the right. Cause we want to be centered. Sometimes we're too far to the left, whatever it may be. So you click that and it goes, it puts you right in the center. <laughs> like it felt like you got locked onto a grid. Yeah. And then so it was real just quick, like, it's just like, hey, you suck at driving. So right. here <laughs> it just puts you there and then, you know, it shows you all the blind spots. Yeah. And then in the little screen, it shows who's next to you, who's in front of you, who's behind you. Yeah. And it like shows it, it actually differentiates between like car, truck, yeah, yeah. person, bike, yeah. like all that stuff. It was crazy. That's nuts. And then um, I've seen it does the lane change too. too. Yeah. It does yeah. the lane change yeah. too. So you just, you just 
keep it in auto drive, do the turn signal, it's weird. And it makes sure it's clear, and then makes the change. That's and weird. Turns the signal off, and it's it, crazy. It, we took it as far as exiting the highway with it all the gotcha. way to stop sign. Gotcha. And then, and then hit the brake, and that turns it off. Wow, that's so, crazy. Because yeah, I know, it's, like, feels weird. Like I love the adaptive stuff. Like we um we went down to North Carolina last year, right after we got the Subaru. Um, with Chloe's family and it was really cool because we got stuck we like got stuck in super bad traffic like a couple of times and like every time that happened it's great because you just turn the thing on you yeah. keep your cruise set at whatever the cruise is going to be right and then it'll just it'll do the stop and go thing in traffic if it actually That's has to stop ours pauses and then you have to resume it or whatever to keep going yep. but you're not like you're not because that's like a stressful not stress in like it's stressing you out, but it's just you're constantly you have to be aware and you're going and stopping and paying attention yeah. and people are merging and it's great. So just yeah. to be able to like resume and then let it do the whole yep. go stop. You can just thing. chill. Like, That's probably my favorite so part nice. of the adaptive. And then yeah. like long drives if you're just on the highway yeah. and you just want to cruise. Yeah. You just put it on. And then if people slow down, they slow down. Right. They speed up. It speeds right. up. Like right. It just keeps you going. Yeah. Yeah. It's super. Unfortunately, like the reality of our world is like so many people drive distracted. Like so many people have their yeah. phones out. Like, dude, I see people like resting on their steering wheel with their phone. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. But like, like every day. So I'm thankful that these safeguards are in for people like that who like their entry point into driving is already going to be distracted. Maybe though. Point. See, I think about this yeah. a lot too, right? Like, yeah, I agree in a way that like, oh, I'm glad that since people like from the premise that people are going to drive distracted right. anyways. I hate that, that the premise, cars, by the way. Right. But like knowing like if what if Karen's going to be driving her car and she's going to be like ordering groceries. <laughs> she said that, but whatever. Karen's punching air. <laughs> <laughs> like if they're going to be doing that, yeah. I would rather their car be breaking for them. Than, well, OK, so that's yeah. the idea, right? So if the premise is people are going to drive poorly anyways, let's just make yeah. the cars safer. Yeah. With those autopilot things. Great. But if you were so for, I bet you're. I would bet if you could watch yourself driving your Porsche versus yeah. your Subaru, yep. you're more focused. Mm-hmm. Just you you as a baseline, like you yep. haven't changed. Right. But you're probably paying more attention in your Porsche because you right. know nothing's looking out for you right. compared to the Subaru. Right. So are we actually making it worse? I think we are. By that, providing all those safety features. Yep. So people are like, well, the car's going to stop for me. Right. The car's going to make sure I'm in the lane. Right. And then you know, there's tragic stories, right? Of right. people in Teslas or right. whatever, not to single out Tesla, but right. like riding in the back seat right. on autopilot. And then right. the car is like, you know, in construction or whatever, right. lane's supposed to go this way, goes right. this way, they crash. Right, right. So, yeah, I was going to ask you because I've done that before in, obviously not crashed, but like <laughs> in like driving You're the like, Subaru. On the way here, almost didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I had to take an Uber. <laughs> it was a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. um, the Just shows up to pick you up. <laughs> Just, yeah. That's, um, did you watch The Last Man on Earth? Mm-mm. Oh, there's a whole too long of a story. So, <laughs> um, the, like, driving in a car that has all the assist it yeah. does it totally makes you a worse driver because then i drive in my wrx and yeah. it's like like i'm way sloppier about lane placement and way sloppier but i don't really trust the auto brake thing anyway but mm-hmm. the adaptive cruise thing is crazy because you'll set cruise in like a regular like you probably do it getting into your audi yep. and set cruise and then you're like why am i tailgating this guy right. all of a sudden? and then you start getting up close yeah if i drive the volkswagen for like a longer say like yeah. a week at a time and yep. then the weekend i take the audi out yep and then like I noticed that too, like yeah. I'll like drift lane a little right. bit. And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I was depending on that right. so much. Right. Or uh, yeah, like get really up. Like yeah. I break later yeah. because I'm just so used to like right. muscle reflex and everything. Right. You're just used to that happening. Yeah, you're just, you, you just depend on it doing a thing. Cause I totally yeah. agree. Like I think it's, it's like a double-edged sword. Like I think it's great. It's, it's on the assumption that people right now are driving cars with no assists. Like I'm thankful that the assists are there so that it can be like a, a cushion to catch their fall, but yeah. almost maybe they're too involved. Like maybe the lane change, th- maybe the lane thing shouldn't be a thing unless it sees there's a car in that lane that you're drifting towards or something like well, that. Well, so that, or what I think, I think your car might do this and mm-hmm. then what probably will be implemented because I think there's going to be a trend of us seeing, um, you know, number of, of distracted driving accidents mm-hmm. and number of like, we, I'm sure we're going to see a correlation of an increase in number of distracted driving accidents yeah. along with the increase of the percentage of people driving cars with this auto driving feature. Sure. Um, so what I think is going to happen is an eye detection, like your phone, you know, yeah. even if your phone is pointed at your face, it won't yeah. unlock until you make eye contact. Right. With it. Right. I think there's going to be a lot of that. And I, doesn't your car have something like yeah. that? Yeah. My car yeah. will see if I'm not, if my eyes are not looking on the road, it'll flash and say, keep your eyes on the road. Yeah. And then even today it gave me a warning. I must've been that tired. My eyes must've been that not like open on the road <laughs> that it, uh, it gave me a, a new warning. It was a red screen now that said like, stay alert. And it showed like an eye closed. And I was like, oh, it, damn. Eye closed. Yeah. <laughs> it was like on both stay screens, alert. like it started flashing <laughs> yeah. doing the thing. But yeah, I wonder, 
because I almost wonder, I think the incidents are going to go down, but I wonder if tickets are going to go up from cops, like witnessing people. Like, yeah. I wonder if there's going to be more measures put in place or is your car going to be able to rat on you? Because my car well, can just see what I'm that. doing. I yeah. was thinking about that on the way here. Like, like I if wonder, you get pulled over, yeah. is your car going to rat you out? You get pulled over and the officer's like, you know, I pulled you over today and the car's like, it is because he was not <laughs> paying attention to the road. <laughs> it's like, ah, I'm trying to turn the volume down. <laughs>